Well, Jewel City Church, it's good to be with you and all of our friends that tune in every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, last night here, right in our worship center, over a hundred people got together and had an evening of worship and prayer, uh, lifting up our nation that seems to be so divided over the election. And the only thing we were asking, our only agenda was for God to reveal the truth of the election. Just to be honest, uh, somebody is lying, one side or the other. And if there is evidence, we prayed, uh, uh, if there's evidence of fraud, that God would reveal it. But let me tell you how I opened up the evening. Before we could approach God and ask God to fix America, we as the body of Christ need to ask Him to come into our lives and to bring out whatever we need to change and fix us. So I believe if the body of Christ is fixed and we are in one accord and we are walking in the fullness and the truth of the Lord, then we can approach God and ask Him to help America. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and seek my face, repent of their sins, then I will hear their cry from heaven and I will heal their land. What do we need in America? We need our land healed. And what is the sickness? What is the illness? Sin. The bottom line is sin. And we as a church got to quit pointing fingers at everybody else and look within. I said, God, search me. God, show me what I need to change in my life. And I believe that today. Friend, we still live in the greatest on, uh, a nation on the planet of the earth. Thank God for America. So let's just join together corporately as the body of Christ across this great nation. And let's ask God to look in us, point out what we need to change, humble ourselves, pray. Let's seek God's face like we've never done before. And I'm telling you, when we turn from our wicked ways, God will not lie. He said, I will hear your cry from heaven and I will heal your land. Let's just trust God. Romans 8, 28 said, For all things work for the good for them that love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. My goodness, God has been faithful. He's still on the throne. Jesus is seated right beside of Him, interceding on our behalf today. God bless you. And before we leave, how is your heart? Have you ever accepted Jesus? The Bible says today is the day of salvation. We want to invite you to come to meet the Lord today. Jesus, if you would just call on His name, humble yourself, pray and ask Him to forgive you of your sins. He's faithful. He's a just God. And He'll save your soul today. Friend, if you need to pray, which we all do, if you've never, I should say, have prayed and asked Christ to forgive you of your sins, pray this prayer and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Dear Lord Jesus, today I humble myself and I acknowledge that you are the Lord and I have fallen short and I have sinned. But today I turn from my wicked ways. I humble myself Acknowledge I'm a sinner, repenting of my sins to follow you. In Jesus' name I pray. Wow, if you prayed that prayer, I want to welcome you to the family of God. Hey, don't forget, uh, every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock here at Jewel City, we have church. Again, at 11 o'clock, at the 11 o'clock hour, we have something for all ages. Why don't you come and join us? Then we're in a Bible study on Sunday evenings at 6 o'clock, studying the book of Revelation. And every Sunday evening we have something for all ages clear through college. 
And don't forget, I know today's Tuesday. Check us out Thursday at noon. I'm going to follow up a little bit what's going on in America. God bless you and have a blessed day. For additional Christ-centered content, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, subscribe on YouTube, and check out the Jewel City Podcast.